MLB.com. Meanwhile, this weekend, Indiana native and MLB All-Star Scott Rowland gets inducted to the Baseball Hall of Fame. Indiana's Mr. Baseball of 1993. Rowland was drafted by the Phillies and retired in 2012 as a Red playing for the Cards and the Blue Jays in between. The third baseman had eight gold gloves, seven all-star designations, and a World Series ring. But this weekend's ceremony will be particularly special for a Carmel mom who is tagging along with him to Cooperstown. Her young son died after battling cancer but gained a forever friend in Roland. Our Dan Spieler has that story. Tyler Frenzel was just seven years old when his mom Pam got the unthinkable news. Her son had leukemia. It happened very quickly, right before Christmas, um, kind of work, parents' worst nightmare. Tyler loved baseball, so his gym teacher, a former ball player himself, connected him with a big league legend, soon to be Hall of Famer, Scott Rowland. We got to go down on the field and batting practice. But Tyler's trip to St. Louis to meet Rowland was just the start of their relationship. They bonded and he started to follow Tyler's story, his progress. He was very interested in how things were going and just wanted to help. Tyler is the best defender I've ever seen in my life. He's lived more in nine years than I, than I could ever, ever imagine. You know, any of us living our entire lives. Tyler passed away just a few months before his 10th birthday, but his legacy lived on through the charities he inspired and for Roland himself. His daughter's middle name is Tyler, all thanks to the young fan from Indiana who inspired so many along the way. Wow, you know, this, this Tyler's name's carried on and it's just special, I mean, what an honor. So now, as Roland is enshrined into the Hall of Fame this weekend, Tyler's mom, Pam, will be there. We spoke to her from the airport Thursday. To me, it's full circle. It's a full circle moment for um, Tyler and Scott. And I know Scott knows Tyler's gonna be there. He's a Hall of Famer more so to me, not because of the baseball, because of who he is as a person. And I think about that now, almost 20 years later, Wow, this young man, you know, entered into that emotional pain. And that says a lot about his character. There's no way I'd miss it. How special is that? That was our Dan Spieler reporting. Tyler was the inspiration behind Tyler's Treehouse. That's at Camp Imalu near Lake Monroe. It's a camp for families experiencing illness or other hardships to enjoy a quiet weekend getaway. We have a link over at Fox59.com. As for Roland, the Jasper native will be honored in Cooperstown this weekend, along with Anderson native and former Dodger Carl Erskine, who's receiving a Lifetime Achievement Award at the Hall of Fame on Sunday. As we mentioned, Roland played for both the Reds and the Cardinals, so he was hell on the Cubs for a few years. <laughs> Wasn't a big fan in. of him, but that last had story... Had to get that in there, didn't that you? I did. That last <laughs> story, though, made me like him just a little of bit. Of course. Or at least not, not How do you like not love that? that? I love that story. Yeah, Absolutely. I know. But Scott now you, Rowland? Now you have to love As him. a Cubs fan? Hated him. Here we go. Because he was so good. <laughs>